Hello, and welcome to Thrifty Tool Shed. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about AC signals. I have a function generator, which I'll show shortly. I'll have a close-up of on, on the bench here. I want to talk about um, a circuit that I have drew here. And uh, it easily shows taking a AC sine wave. And since I have green and red LEDs forming a bridge rectifier, it shows on the positive and negative cycle of the sine wave that'll show a little more easily what's going on. I got it set at one hertz, so it's one time a second you'll be able to see when the sine wave is positive. You'll also be able to see when the sine wave is negative, correlating to the to the LEDs and the bridge. I just have a resistor here to for the LEDs to light up, I have a load across. I'll have the DC there either way, but to make the LEDs show up better on camera, I got just a, a, a resistor across the plus and minus of the output of the, uh, the DC output of the bridge rectifier. So I thought maybe this might, might be a little fun. Um, I got the the actual function generator off eBay and I got less than like $35 in it and it's just a really good uh, tool for troubleshooting as well as learning more about electronics and uh, as you'll see in this circuit here um, we'll get started shortly okay we're back as you can see here I have one Hertz showing on the display of the function generator I have it set for sine wave it is roughly 22 volts peak to peak signal and hopefully it shows up well on camera if you see the trace going across the screen it actually draws out and you can see the fade on the LEDs as it goes through the negative and a positive cycle of the sine wave and at one hurt we can actually see what's going on which with a bridge rectifier at 60 hertz and I can cut this up to 60 hertz there's, there's no way to, to see it you can see it on the of course on the oscilloscope but with your eye you can't see what's going on so uh, just briefly going over this let you see on the positive cycle the green LED lights up and varies the intensity as the sine wave goes to peak and the same way as it goes negative peak and um, to, to show that if I was to change it to a square wave, it actually do the same thing, but the LEDs to change much more direct. It's still a peak to peak 22, roughly 22 volt signal. And the offset zero is, is in the middle. So it is positive to negative 11, 11 and a half volts. Um, but it lets you see the LEDs change more abruptly. And also the function generator it has the ability to, to go to a triangular wave, which you'll see a lot, a lot uh, sharper point change on the LEDs as it goes from the negative to the positive cycle. So you can tell a lot by looking at the glow of the LED exactly what signal we're looking at at, at this low frequency rate. I'm gonna change back now to a sine wave. And I'm going to take the frequency up so we can see the LEDs correlate. And that's only that's only six or seven hertz, roughly. Uh, but you can tell this is you can see it with your eye, but it's getting a little harder to um, to keep up with the positive and, and negative cycle. And of course, as I continue going up. Sorry, let me change my horizontal out to maybe 20 milliseconds as I'm going on up roughly. I'm sorry, it's just off the screen there. Still can't get it. There we go. I'm at about 20, 21 hertz. And I'm actually going to have to change the scale, change the range. 
Trying to watch it on the screen here. Apologize. Well, we're right at 60 hertz. Now, of course, we can't tell anything by the LEDs. But the oscilloscope shows and verifies the 60 hertz. I'm now going to crank it back down. And here I have uh, cranked it back down to around one hertz. Actually, a little bit off. Check the trigger level. Still around 22 volts peak to peak voltage. Adjust that back down to a, about one hertz. And this just shows um, the function of a of the function generator and a little bit about how much fun you can have with one. Just a really reasonable rate off of eBay. Um, you can get a hold to them pretty cheap, and they're pretty powerful as a troubleshooting tool. Again, and um, there's all kinds of things you can do with offsets and amplitude. You can do a sweep. It's a lot of different things, and this particular one to go up to actually two megahertz, and the megahertz. Uh, scale so just thought I'd show a little bit about um the function generator and uh how easily they are to acquire and and uh just a little bit about a bridge rectifier and how easily it can show up at one hertz uh, one more thing I, I did want to mention is um I would love to be able to add my second channel and be able to show the um just a positive the hundred the um the, the double frequency rate or the positive of the of the bridge rectifier that is it only shows the uh the positive side of the cycle the on, the only problem is when you got one oscilloscope the channel grounds are are connected and there's i don't have a way to isolate that if you could you could do it easily but since that ground can't be isolated all it'll do is it'll ground out part of my AC sine wave. So what I what I can do is I have a little cheaper battery powered portable scope. It's it's really not a nice scope, but I thought just maybe it might be something you're interested in seeing if I if I go across the resistor or the the DC part of the bridge rectifier. At least you can see. Let's see if you can see it on camera here. At least you can see just the positive side. This is zero. If you can see it, the offset is in the middle for zero. So it's showing the output being uh, positive pulses at, at double the frequency rate. Instead of right now, right at we at 970 millihertz or right at one hertz. Go up just a little bit. I changed it up just a little bit. Yeah, we're just a little over one hertz, and and here you can see it's actually double the frequency because it's only showing on the positive side. So even when these are red, it's still showing up as they're going through the uh, the diodes. Hope you enjoyed this show of the uh, bridge rectifier and the use of the function generator. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.